Today on Toy Shiz, we're heading back to some Ninja Turtle comic book roots. Let's talk toys. Welcome back, everyone. Toy Shiz here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look, courtesy of my friends over at Playmates Toys. And today, we are totally checking out their brand new upcoming free comic book day Eastman and Laird's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles comic book deco set. Again, like I said, free comic book day coming up August 14th. This is an early look at these figures limited to 3600 sets so if you go to your favorite local comic book shop in and around august 14th well hopefully you can snag a set if you'd like this packaging is a really nice love letter to the original black and white with the red masks teenage mutant Ninja turtles early issue one and likely there a very cool texturing effect it's got that grittiness the pages used to have for the old Ninja Turtle black and white comic book. This comic book series back in 1984, single 40 page black and white underground comic, redefined the comic book industry and created a worldwide phenomenon. For 36 years, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles have entertained and thrilled legions of fans across the globe, and they're still going strong. Yes. I would definitely say so. They are definitely going strong. But like I said, the back of the box is very cool. Just all the old artwork, including this really nice, it seems like a re-digitized image. Just a classic comic book panel of all of them just striking a Ninja Turtle pose. It's very, very nice. And of course, the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number one right there. Raise your hands if you still got your first issues. Here is the barcode, perhaps... This might help you if you go to a comic book shop or if you're looking for it, you can tell them about it. I would say show them this image and you should be able to find it. So this should be fun with as many Ninja Turtles in my collection. Hey, what's four more? We'll check them out right. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot splinter made cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new Eastman and Laird's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles free comic book day four pack featuring the black and white and red Ninja Turtles by Playmates Toys. And to really start things off right, we're gonna start off with, when I was a kid, I always went for Michelangelo first, but he comes with a really nice stand, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and of course it says Michelangelo. Now here's one thing, it says 2012 Viacom on the back, and if you were wondering, we have seen these Ninja Turtle figures, we have seen these stands, they are repainted ones from, yeah, a while ago, but now it's done in that old fashioned black and white look with the red bandanas and i'll tell you this there are some interesting issues with this figure but let's look at it in terms of how does the articulation really hold up is it still a figure that can be taken seriously we'll say for what 2021 now right i would say the main gripe is that while there's black and white turtle action going on on the back side, it's missing all of that type of look. But I do like the nunchucks on him. I will say this. It's got a nice chain, right? I'm glad that they did that. Has a little bit of a swirl texture on the actual nunchucks. And it just gives it that black and white, gritty comic book look. And they fit nicely. It's a nice weapon storage. You can do both of his weapons. And he holds them nicely, too. And that's what I appreciate. Right off the bat, let's say something positive, right? Right? I will say one thing, just be careful with the hands. You kind of have to get them going before they actually start moving. Some of them are a little stuck to begin with. But in terms of the articulation, the head will go every which way. You do get some nice up and down action too. As you can see, yeah, he'll look up, he'll look down, he'll go side to side. His little bandana right here is a flexible rubber material. And then you do get a nice semblance of... I wouldn't say ab crunch, but ab rotation movement in general. He's got the big shell right there. So honestly, for my first time kind of having these turtles, I never got them before. So this is my first foray into this body type. That actually works pretty good. So you got the arms that go all the way up. He'll spin at the bicep and he has double jointed elbows. So I do like that a lot. Each finger is articulated. So you got thumb and you got one finger and you got two fingers. So all of them work in unison with together but separate as well you get some nice leg you kind of have to grab him just a little bit right here to show you the thigh swivel so he's got thigh rotation right there he's got double jointed knees 
And he does have up, down, individual toe articulation, which is actually pretty cool. Yeah. And then a semblance of, let's say, an ankle rock. It'll kind of go more off up and down than to the side, we'll just say, but it works with the articulation and getting him into poses. So this is the same body type for every single one of these Ninja Turtles. The main gripe I have is with the paint. I like the articulation on this guy, but the paint job is very lackluster. I like the red headband. I think that that works. I think that that's cool. But the paint is lost, especially like on the front of his shell, the back of his shell. I mean, it's got the black, but then you don't have much to it, especially on the legs, bottom of the feet, everything else. It just kind of loses it. So it's like partway there and then partway leaving you wanting so much more. With Donatello, it's the same exact body type as I said. It comes with a stand. This is Donatello, just like Michelangelo, right? It comes with the bow staff. And this one has an added piece to where it fits Donatello's belt configuration a little bit better. The bow staff has, just like the nunchucks, a little bit of black on it. You got weapons storage. Again, that's a nice thing I want to point out, is that all the Ninja Turtle figures have really nice weapon storage on them. Same exact articulation, but again, just to really talk about the etchings. If it would have just gone so much further... Just to have that really cool cell shaded comic book look, you want to go that route, it's cool. He does have a different head than Michelangelo, of course. He's got the more open mouth. So I'm glad that all the different heads for all the different turtles, so they're at least you can tell them apart in that sense. But yeah, it just it really does leave you wanting more in terms of that. Now, one thing I'll point out with the hands and the sculpts, I don't really care for the way this looks right here. It looks really awkward it looks jumbled like he's wearing a glove without wearing a glove you know what i mean so to say nowadays to reuse the mold over and over again it does not look the best it's something that yeah didn't work i would say probably the first time and it's not the most attractive thing although i do like that each finger moves with leonardo yeah you get nice weapon storage again but do you see how I mean, like from far away, you'd be like, yeah, okay, this is totally cool. But when you start looking at it up close, that's when you see it. You get the Leonardo stand and then you get the Leonardo turtle with some, again, very nice <laughs> weapon storage. One thing on my Leonardo figure out of all the hands that I'm telling you, you know, kind of have to get him going a little bit. His were the most stuck. So I kind of had to heat him up just a little bit. But again, once you kind of get him going, of all the joints and all the things, yeah, that was missing. He's also missing some paint apps here and there. As you can see, he's missing just elements of the very few paint apps that you would expect to see on these turtles. It's very minute. But hey, with the amount of paint apps that were given, yeah, more would have been nice. I really like the way that his katanas go into his back. It looks natural. The shell looks good. I really do like the way these turtles are sculpted. The paint is what needed to change but right here yeah he gets a different head he kind of gets the donatello belt system going on which brings us to Raphael. and again same thing as usual Raphael stand right there and i like the way this is what the benefit of having each individual finger move right you can put the size either having them held by the handle or you can put it between his fingers now for raf i've always been more partial to, you know, between the fingers, but whatever. But he's got nice weapon storage in the front. So really, this kind of reminds me of the original 80s Playmates Toys Turtles done in this comic book style, but now done in more of this six an inch kind of style that works. And then, yeah, doesn't really work. I think the red on the headbands is a bit of a detraction. I think more of a gray would have been really cool to go that route other than just full on red but in all honesty when you do start taking photos of these guys yes it looks good black and white the photo if you wanted to go that route they look good in that sense but there are a lot of hiccups and the paint is just not up to snuff this might be in fact if you get this box set one that you leave in the set if people were wondering who who do i think this is for well this is for ninja turtle fans but it may be a set better left just in the box and just to show you some height comparisons, right? Here he is next to the brand new Motu Revelation Skeletor. 
He-Man Origins. It's kind of weird to see a Ninja Turtle taller than a He-Man figure, right? Here he is next to the brand new McFarlane Toys Raven Spawn. So yes, they are shorter than that. Here he is next to a Marvel Legends Deadpool. They're around that size of Marvel Legends. But it's really when you start comparing him to other Ninja Turtle figures from the past. And yes, I could be here all day with the amount of Ninja Turtle figures on my shelf. But just for kicks, here he is next to the original Michelangelo. The NECA Toys Turtles. Now, I don't have the black and white NECA versions. But you can see that in all honesty... The faces don't exactly match the comic book properties by which these are supposed to be based off of. Yeah, I get that they're going the black and white route, but the faces that NECA did match the source material a whole heck of a lot more, and just the shading overall really matches that comic book look. Here he is next to a Super 7 Mutagen Man, so I think the scaling on those would work for you if you wanted. But then, of course, here he is next to a NECA Toys cartoon target tmnt this is the disguise pack and yes they are taller than those particular neca turtles and here he is next to the dc direct batman versus the ninja turtles Raphael. so really these are a larger type figure they are kind of their own scale whereas you know ninja turtles are supposed to be smaller than most let's say batman in that sense you know what i mean so you'd have to have a much larger batman figure in order for these to really scale otherwise they're just the same height as most six inch figures but here's where i can really show off exactly what i mean now i have the playmates four inch ninja turtle figures that were based off the comic book series and these came out in a set well, they came out individually and they came out in the set not too long ago. The grittiness, the wash, everything else applies and works so much better on these 4-inch turtles, whereas the 6-inch ones could have really benefited from that. They're just halfway there. It feels like the paint apps fell through halfway and what we were left with was okay. I don't feel like the gray matches since it's only one thing. Yes, the red is okay, but it really doesn't add to it. If anything, it detracts from it and really points out that, yeah, there's a lot missing from this. So the paint apps are a total miss for me, but the figures themselves, they're actually pretty cool. I do like the articulation on them. So that's really gonna wrap it up for my look at these brand new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Eastman and Laird's original comic book for free comic book day from Playmates Toys. And thank you again to Playmates for sending these out to give you guys this early look. Again, as I'll reiterate, the paint on these is a total wash. It's a total disappointment. It leaves you wanting so much more. I really like the weapons. I really like the weapon storage. And I appreciate the red headbands. Although, I think a gray in the headbands really would have looked a whole heck of a lot better. Yes, they do pop on your shelf. They're interesting. But the wash and everything else that it's missing makes me go, unless you're a really hardcore Ninja Turtle fan, I would say these will probably be a pass. But if you're just going to leave them in the box and have them to look at as a really nice set in totality, I think you'll fare pretty well. It's a nice semi-love letter to the original source material, but it is missing a lot of things that would really have sent it over the top. But I am curious to know what you guys think about these new Ninja Turtle figures. And I say new in a very loose sense. It was really, I mean, like these repainted Ninja Turtles that are new. Wink, wink. Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything TMNT. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember when it comes to Ninja Turtles, there's tons of Ninja Turtles. Tons of great companies making them. But from Playmates, in all honesty... I want to see more. I want to see the golden age again for Playmates toys. And I know you got it in you. And I'm looking forward to what you guys got coming next. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios. Mm -hmm.